Hello everybody, I'm Charles Kanufke. I'm the Western Regional Manager for Wattstopper and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how you can take a DLM system and actually add network connectivity to it. So here we see a screen and what we've got is what we refer to as the typical lighting interface. This is what's gone on before and this is when somebody says, all right, I want to have an integrated building. Well, one of the toughest words to really understand is integrated. What does that mean? Everybody might have their own little vision of it. So in this case, somebody said, oh, I want an integrated building. And what they wound up was a workstation talking to a bunch of HVAC controls and then a completely separate lighting control. And there's one box they call a gateway, basically, that's acting as a communication bus between those two. So imagine if you've lost communication to that gateway. The messages that are coming from the workstation that say, hey, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, turn on, doesn't end up getting into the lighting control. Those lights will never go on that day. So somebody's going to have to start going around to the individual spaces and turn those lights off uh, with the local switches. What we think is that this is an okay way of doing it, but it's definitely the older way to do it. There's a more advanced way. You wind up with duplication. You wind up with extra costs that somebody's doing. And so if we can actually take those two high front ends and combine them into a single one, this is what an integrated DLM network looks like. As you see here, now you've got a web server, which is, of course, and one uh, manufacturer would be providing maybe a trading box, another one might be providing somebody else's hardware. But out of that web server, we're coming out, we're going from device to device to device to device. So that's the HVAC units, the variable speed uh, controllers, the DLM rooms, all of those on one wire. So I've got that connected, let's say, maybe for the first, second, and third floor. I've got another chase box that I've got or segment manager that I've got for the fifth, sixth, and seventh floor. Uh, the fourth floor has got its own little segment manager, let's say, or its own chase box. So now you've actually got the ability for all the lighting controls inside the individual spaces to operate. But if there's any issue at all, those spaces will continue to operate. There's no gateway. We're really leveraging the fact that we're communicating back then. So now an integrator can come in and say, OK, I can talk to your devices just like I talk to my devices or devices from another manufacturer. Now I can bring all that information up into my system, and I can start doing some pretty cool analytics where I can make it so that when the occupancy sensor in the room sees that the room's occupied, turns on the lights, I'll see that, and I'll also keep the fan going or turn on the fan uh, for after hours. So we've been through a lot with this presentation. What I really hope that you focus on is how easy it is to use the Wattstopper DLM, how open we are to being able to integrate to different systems out there, and how we make sure that even when you do integrate the systems, we make sure that you've got that reliability level that you're looking at down at the individual room. So we hope that you consider this to be really the fastest. There's only one point of connection inside each room. We think that this is definitely the easiest because we're actually automatically discovering everything inside the room. And then really it's the best because, of course, not only is it Wattstopper, but this is really the foundation for your intelligent building. So with that, I'm Charles Knuffke with the Wattstopper. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and thank you very much.